I believe some people don't have the right understanding of me. You may see a person speaking to you now. And you may think, you know what? Perhaps Kevin would be a very good person to speak to. Now, you know that I teach on righteousness. I teach on change. Yes, in person or over the phone, I may joke with you. I may tease with you and stuff like that, yes. But if I teach on righteousness on YouTube, why do you believe I am not going to do it to the people who try to come close to me or try to be my friend? Some people may think that perhaps Kevin is one way on YouTube, but another way over the phone or something like that. No. Like I said before, I may joke with you and ask you questions and stuff like that, but what you have to know, if I teach on righteousness on YouTube, I am going to do that in person. So if I see something off, it is not like I am looking for <laughs> bad things and people, no. If I teach on YouTube, why don't you believe that I am not going to teach to you? If you choose to contact me, either through email, comment, or whatever else, it is not that I am trying to offend you. It is not that I am trying to make you angry, no. No. Listen. I expect the same thing out of myself. I am not this person that sins all day long and when I see people, hey, you need to change this. You need to change that. I am not like that. And what confuses me, if you don't want to be told what the wrong that you are doing, why contact a teacher? <laughs> now, I am not saying that I am this top elite church elite teacher, but why would you contact me and you know what I teach on? Don't you or shouldn't you believe that I am going to be that way toward you as well? It is not about being judgmental. Listen, if, <clears throat> look, I gave my life to God, right? Yes. So there are certain people I can and cannot speak with. If you are the type of person that chooses to sin all day and you don't want to change, fine. That is you. But if you are trying to be my friend, you have to know that I can't entertain myself with you. It is not that I have anything against you. It is not that I think I am better than you. No. It is just that I know I am either going to influence you or you are going to influence me. And I am not going to hell. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not going to hell. So I am not going to be influenced by a person who choose to be sinful and not want to change but want to be my friend. No. No. I sacrificed too much. Someone sent me a comment 
And in so many words, that person was saying that he or she was offended by me by something I wrote to him or her. And later that person found out that I was not trying to be offensive or anything like that, but I was telling the truth. <laughs> Listen, I gain nothing by offending anyone. I don't gain. I correct out of love, not because I want to be this official policeman, preacher, church guy. No. I do this out of love. Listen, when I started to live for God, I had absolutely no interest <laughs> in telling anyone about God. I had no interest in doing that. I wanted to keep to myself, uh, learn about God, and die and go to heaven. I am serious. But the path that God has taken me, I have to tell people about God. So if you choose or are trying to be my friend, you have to know that I am a teacher. I am going to tell you about God. We are going to talk about righteousness. If you see anything wrong with me, if I see anything wrong in you, we need to talk about it. Because my life, pretty much, I am trying to elevate higher in God. So if you choose to want to stay in sin, hey, fine. But you can't come over here though. You can't, you can't try to be my friend or anything else like that because I have to separate from you. Not because I am mean, not because I am rude. Listen, let's say someone has some type of flu or AIDS. What if that person cut himself or herself? Would you come over there and place your finger <laughs> right on that cut and smear it all over and smear it all over and touch your face with it? Of course not. Because if you do that, chances are, or maybe, you may have a chance <laughs> of getting A's or getting sick. So why would I take a chance in trying to stay friends with a person who is choosing not to serve God? I pray that this makes sense. I am not trying to be infected by any sinful person. I am not. So please understand me. God bless you.